when you sit enthroned under the shadow of Shaddai, you are hidden. That's what you were talking about. Exactly. In the strength of God most high. He is the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me, the only God for me and my great confidence. He will rescue you from every hidden trap of the enemy and he will protect you from false accusation and any deadly curse. Hello, wow. His massive arms are wrapped around you, protecting you. You can run under his covering of majesty and hide. His arms of faithfulness are a shield keeping you from harm. You will never worry about an attack of demonic forces at night, nor have to fear a spirit of darkness coming against you. Don't fear a thing, whether by night or by day, Demonic danger will not trouble you, nor will the powers of evil launch against you. Even in a time of disaster, with thousands and thousands being killed, you will remain unscathed and unharmed. Hallelujah. You will be a spectator as the wicked perish in judgment. Thank you, Jesus. For they will be paid back for what they have done. When we live our lives within the shadow of God Most High, our secret right hiding place, we will always be shielded from harm. Hallelujah. How then could evil prevail against us or disease infect us? Hallelujah. Think We're getting been, right in there. Think about what's going on the last few months. Hallelujah. God sends angels with special orders to protect you wherever you go, defending you from all harm. It's getting better and better. Hallelujah. If you walk into a trap, they'll be there for you and keep you from stumbling. You'll even walk unharmed among the fiercest powers of darkness, trampling every one of them beneath your feet. Another hallelujah. <laughs> For here is what the Lord has spoken to me. Because you have delighted in me as my great lover, I will greatly protect you. I will set you in a high place, safe and secure from uh, before my face. I will answer your cry for help every time you pray. Every time. Every time. And you will find and feel my presence even in your time of pressure and trouble, I will be your glorious hero and give you a feast. Coming to the last Think verse. Think about this. In time of pressure and trouble, yeah. you're having a feast. You will that be... goes against everything your natural brain thinks, but this is supernatural. <laughs> you're the best. Okay. You, you will be satisfied with a full life and with all that I do for you, for you will enjoy the fullness of my salvation. The Message wow. Bible says, I'll throw you a party. Let me tell you something. This was written long after your daddy wrote the prayer cover. And the interesting thing that I love about this translation is when I sat down with your daddy, the way he was talking about being hidden is so much in this translation, in the, in the, uh, the passion. passion translation, was so much like what your father was saying the Lord was giving him about this. Now, here's an interesting thing. When you sit enthroned, Y-A-S-H-A-B, it is associated with one seated as royalty. And this says in Ephesians, it's the same word that's used in Ezekiel 27, 8, and it translates as leaders and rulers. And then it talks about under the shadow of the Almighty where casual passer buyers can't even see, but you are seated as royalty. Richard, I'm telling you something. I was listening to um, a very interesting criticism, not on purpose, of someone criticizing prosperity. And I thought, oh, don't want to listen to this, don't want to listen to this, turn that off, because they were so, um, there was, it seemed to be such venom being skewed, spewed. Unfortunately, the venom being spewed was by another Christian. So I began to study, and I've, I'm a studier, Richard knows that, and I began to look up the blessing of Abraham, and I had no intention of comparing it to prosperity. But when you look at it, blessing, Richard, means means empowered to prosper. Mm -hmm. Psalm 91 empowers us to prosper as royalty hidden. And when you think about how royalty was protected, help me with this because I'm not great at these words. Um, it was a moat yes. of water yes. with a drawbridge that came down. Around the castle. All concrete. So it was protected and yes. hidden. And the people inside, you couldn't get past the concrete let alone the drawbridge, let and alone had the, the moat. And then you had those standing the up there with the arrows. And then people standing guard. And you remained hidden. This is what's happening. Your finances need to be blessed, empowered to prosper. Well, but now, wait a Your minute. physical body blessed, empowered to let's, prosper. Let's go back for a minute to what you just said and what God said. He said to Abraham, I will bless you. And 
I will make, make you a blessing. You. He was saying, I will empower you to prosper. to prosper, and also I want you to bless, be Others. a blessing to those around you, so they will be empowered to prosper. 